Do you know what imbalance is and why it is so important to correct it? Imbalance occurs when the center of mass in a rotor is not aligned properly with its axis of rotation. This results in excessive vibration during operation. This vibration becomes more noticeable as the rotational speed of the rotor increases and can originate from the type of material used in the rotor, manufacturing defects, or simply continuous use of the machinery in which the rotor is installed. Let's consider the simplest form. Take this perfectly machined and perfectly circular disc rotating on the shaft. If we consider the center of mass as a point coinciding with the axis of rotation of the shaft, all internal forces in the rotor would be canceled out and the disc would be in balance. But what if those points didn't coincide? To demonstrate, let's screw this screw with nuts at a known distance. We see now that when we move the system, the disc rotates so that the heaviest part settles at the bottom. It doesn't remain static, but why? Because there is a force exerted by this weight that is not being canceled out. What is the solution? Compensating for that mass. We place a mass of the same weight in the opposite direction at 180 degrees. With that, we manage to align the center of mass with the axis of rotation of the shaft once again. This is called static balancing. What if we lengthen this disc or we place two discs in the system? The effect will remain if the two eccentric weights are at the same angle. The discs will move to their equilibrium position. In this case, we could draw an imaginary line connecting the two masses, and this line will be parallel to the axis of rotation of the system. What if this imaginary line is not parallel, but has an angle? We can represent this with opposite masses generating a 180 degree angle. Apparently, the disc is balanced because it does not move. However, this is not reality. The system is still imbalanced. More specifically in this case, we've found static imbalance. Static imbalance can be corrected with a technique that requires rotating the system based on a procedure called dynamic balancing. But we will talk about that in another video.